times the same image that you saw Tim import earlier. It was very ugly, you could say. And that's actually an image that I actually did for a customer a couple weeks ago. So when we go to import, and we import our logo, all right, I'm going to go ahead, turn off the selection mode so we can resize it. And it unlocks it to our actual size. So, an easy way to do this is actually to just leave it the way that it is. All right, so we're not going to vectorize it because we've noticed that it's pretty, we already know that it's going to be bad. You see how everything is distorted? An easy way to do an image is to physically look at it before you even vectorize it. See, these are supposed to be single lines. And remember I was telling you that the colors, what Gravograph sees as colors, it'll continue to draw more and more lines. So you see how this is darker than this? It means that there are multiple lines already on here, and this one does not. So the lighter the color, if it's a single line, it means Gravistyle has not assigned it three, four, five layers of a single line on top of itself. So what we want to do, we already know that this is going to be bad when we vectorize it. Gravograph sees every single one of these hiccups, you could say, as a, as a vector. So we know it's going to be bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to do something that's called tracing. We're going to redraw the image and it's going to be, it'll be very easy. I'll show you here. There's a plus and a minus. This is going to add a new layer. This is going to subtract one. So when we add a new layer, it gives us basically like a job two. We still have our job one but we have job two. Right here you will see a little tiny checkbox. When you check this box, it makes it, it's called a transparency button. What it does is it allows you to see every single level at one time. So right now, we still got level one, we still got level two. If we turn off transparency, you'll notice level two is gone. So what we're going to do is turn the transparency level back on, and you're basically going to trace whatever you want. So in this instance, we're going to come up here to our geometric shapes button. And right here is a simple line. We know that this is supposed to be a single line. And if you remember, when Tim vectorized it, it actually turned this into a double-lined object, which it is not. So we know that we want a single line. So what we're going to do is just simply click here. You can zoom out then zoom back in, go ahead and draw your line, and as you can see it just continues to draw for you. So you can place this wherever you want to. The most important part to remember is even when I started doing it, I saw that this line just did not look straight. Well, when you are zoomed in this much, if you look up here, you'll notice that from here to here, is only 0.24 of an inch. It's not even a quarter of an inch. So as long as the lines are relatively straight at this, when you are zoomed up this much, you cannot see these deviations. You see how that line is not straight from the corner to where my pointer is, how it steps down? You will not see that in your engraving, I promise you. Those are thousands and thousands of an inch when you're dealing with these logos. So you have nothing to worry about. You can come in here and you'll just finish doing your tracing. Eventually when you, you know, in the essence of time, I'm not going to go through the entire video. So right here, when you're done with your, your line, you can see your line. And what you'll do is when you turn the transparency off, you have your image. So you continue on with the transparency until you draw your entire object. And when you turn it off, you'll have your brand new object. For text, what you're going to do is you'll, I know it's, it's, it's hard to hear, but the text is very, if you don't have a vectorized image already that you're importing, text does not import very well. You will physically have to go into text mode, put it in manual mode, so you can put the text anywhere you want to. Find yourself a font that resembles it. 
just retype it and then resize it to match. And the great thing about having a transparency is your customers are going to want their signs to look the same way or their plates. So after you resize the text, come in here and physically move it right over this. That way when you go back to untransparent, you've got the text in the exact same location as the image. That's the beauty of having two layers, is I can physically import a logo. It is exactly what the customer wants. I can make the transparency happen and p place the objects exactly where the customer wants them. So that is what's nice about having dual layers that you can trace over top of each other. When it's done, you'd simply do just go to your layer two and only engrave your layer two. Go ahead and you can delete layer one and you'll be good.